Hey folks, talking today about um, this easy built-in shelving project I pulled off. So basically we have this little walk-in closet at our house. It's kind of a funky space because it has this, um, you know, uh, angled roofing here. And uh, basically um, used, this is all 100% um, just common board pine from Home Depot, which is very affordable um, and it works great for this built-in shelving. So um, really the trickiest part here was um, cutting these boards here on the angle that matches the roof. So to use that, I used a T-bevel and um, you know, I loosened the bevel and you have basically, you know, it's like an angle and I stuck a little level on the part of the bevel that's dropping down. So I, so that, that would represent this surface here, got this angle, clamped the bevel. Once I had that, I translated the line to these boards and cut them. And you can see these boards are resting just resting on the carpet. They're not screwed in down here. Um, and basically I, once I had that angle, I shoved the boards in this way. Um, you know, you get an estimate of how long you want this surface more or less, and probably will be off, uh, you know, up to a half an inch in this direction, but that's totally fine because, you know, it looks great on that side looks great on that side. So half an inch isn't going to bother anything. And when you shove it this way, you know, you kind of get some compression forcing down, holding it on the carpet. Um, and then I cut these little one inch strips. Uh, they don't even go the full length of, um, the board. It's fine. It's holding everything in place and little angle cut there. Um, using the same T-bevel angle to, to match it up. And these are screwed in to the roof. So these are basically your main anchors. Then these um, middle vertical boards here are screwed in to this part that's screwed, you know, to this little one inch strip. So then basically there's two separate boards that are making up the uh, depth here. And here also on the flat, surfaces there's one two separate boards and there's this little backing plate so stuff doesn't fall off the back of the shelf and this is just a little two inch piece um and it's let's see it's trying to get a shot back here basically it uh it's two separate pieces going along the length here and that's that little gap there you know is necessary you'd slip in the two separate pieces behind the flat um, shelves once you have them in and just to make it easier to, to get them in and then I painted everything up once it was on here covered the carpet um, this part is a little bit tricky as well because we have this chimney for the uh, the um, heating uh, the, the hot hot water heater uh, it's a little flue coming up in this chimney and so basically had to cut an angle around here and I needed two separate um, lower support pieces so all these support pieces are leveled up and got them here as well um, and to get into the brick I used a tapcon and the tapcon said I kit I had I bought um, came with a bit so I used a hammer drill and went right through the wood into the brick so the holes lined up and then put the tap on in there um, and some of them were weaker than others so I just put a little construction adhesive on them first and then screw them in and that's holding pretty well um, maybe there, there's some construction adhesive behind this too to add some more support and uh, screw those on from the top as well and that's it so this is basically you know, if you hired someone to do this, it's about $1,500 and I pulled it off for about $300. It was pretty fun to do and uh, learned some stuff along the way. So good luck if you try it.